Ray J just humiliated Floyd Mayweather after he spilled the tea on how he stole Floyd's ex-girlfriend Princess Love from him. It turns out that Ray and Princess were actively having an affair the entire time she was with Floyd. He even convinced Princess at one point to set Mayweather up so he could get robbed. The crazy part about this mess is that Ray and Floyd were friends back in the day, but their friendship ended after Floyd found out about the sneaky things that he and Princess were doing behind his back. Ray J had the audacity to try and cool things off with Floyd, but of course he was not rocking with the BS. And he made it very clear to Ray J that if he doesn't stop, he's gonna make him pay for what he did. Now for those of y'all who don't know what's going on, Ray J and Princess Love are currently in the middle of a very nasty divorce. And a lot of tea has been getting spilled ever since they started the divorce process. And as expected, some of the tea that's been getting spilled has to do with Princess's ex-boyfriend and Ray J former best friend, Floyd Mayweather. Princess and Floyd started dating back in 2013, while he was in the process of breaking up with his ex fiance Chantel Jackson, after he caught her cheating on him with other men. Floyd was showering Princess with a lot of gifts, all of which she was posting online. However, not too long after their relationship started, there were rumors going around that Princess was sneaking around with Ray J on the low behind Floyd's back. The reason why this was messy is because like I said before, Ray J and Floyd were really good friends back then. These cheating rumors got even worse after 50 Cent himself inserted himself into the drama and posted a series of posts on Instagram telling Floyd Mayweather to repo his gifts to her. He posted a photo of Ray J shirtless with the text over the photo that read, damn champ, Ray J like this on that HOE. Time to repo, you already know. He then added insult to injury when he said in his caption, Floyd Mayweather don't feel stupid. Some of them belong on a track. That's all. 50 then posted a photo of Princess with text all over it that said, F alert. Floyd didn't take 50's comments about Princess hooking up with Ray J very well at all, and he decided to clap back by throwing shade at 50 and claiming that he's the one who helped 50 get out the hood. He posted this note on IG that read, when you take a broke person out the slums and give them a chance at bettering themselves, in due time, their true colors will eventually reveal itself. That's why they say leave trash in the garbage can for bums to dig through. Because you can find yourself hanging around garbage so much you'll forget how rotten it is. However, just a week after this, Media Takeout did some snooping and dug out some evidence that proved that Ray J and Princess were indeed sleeping together behind Floyd's back. They posted a series of photos of Ray and Princess half naked on the bed in a hotel room. Of course, 50 did not miss his chance to make this his I told you so moment. And he posted the photos with the caption, told you, don't ever call me, no lie. That was a very embarrassing moment for Floyd because he really thought that Princess was being faithful to him and the whole time she was getting piped down by Ray J right under his nose. He tried to save face by posting this photo of himself with Princess on his IG the exact same day that Media Takeout leaked those incriminating photos, but literally no one cared. The damage had already been done. To make make things even worse, Floyd was later robbed and it was rumored that Princess and Ray J set him up. The robbery happened back in 2013 during the same night that he was having a fight against Canelo Alvarez. The robbers stole about eight Rolex watches, close to about 10,000 in cash, and some other items were stolen from the home. Now, interestingly enough though, Mayweather owns properties in the Las Vegas area and it was specifically the house he was living in with Princess that got robbed. It was later revealed that the reason why the thieves targeted the house he was living in with Princess is because she's the one who set the whole thing up. Princess Love apparently tried pinning the burglary on one of her friends, but Floyd got in contact with that woman. The woman spilled to Floyd that Princess organized the robbery. She also apparently told Floyd that Princess was having an affair with Ray J, which is the first Mayweather learned of their relationship. Child, it's a hot stinking mess, y'all. Now, not too long after this, they called off their engagement and broke up for good. And as expected, she and Ray J went public with their relationship right after that. They dated for a while before eventually getting married in August of 2016. Just two years after that, they also welcomed their first child, Melody Love. However, it didn't take long for Ray J to stop doing exactly what everyone knew he was going to do, which is treat Princess like trash. It got so bad that Princess filed for divorce from Ray J after he reportedly left her and their daughter stranded in Las Vegas. 
Vegas. With no care in the world as to how they were going to get back home, they flew to Las Vegas to attend the Soul Train Awards. But just after the event, he ditched Princess, who was heavily pregnant at the time with their second child, Epic Ray. About two weeks ago, I found a, an extra phone that Ray had been hiding. Or that Ray, he wasn't hiding, he had it. And um, he had been giving his number out. He had admitted to me that he was, nope, A1, I'm doing it, I don't care. So he, I found this phone that he had, I went through it. I confronted him about it. He was honest. Well, he tried to lie at first. He was honest. And um, he basically admitted that he had been entertaining, you know, some women to stay women because my baby's right here. And, you know, I told him, just be honest with me. If, you, if you're honest, we ended up. So we ended up checking out of the hotel because it was time to check out. And then... I ended up checking up, checking into another hotel. And we're in another hotel right now. We are not where Ray is in the Skylofts. I have not talked to him. He has not unblocked me. He has not called me, hasn't checked on me or Melody. Um, so we're just here. Anyway, it seemed like they had resolved their issues because Princess later filed for dismissal of her divorce, filing in July of 2020. But just two months after Princess filed for dismissal, Ray J completely shocked everybody when he filed for divorce. And just like Princess, he also dismissed the divorce filing just a few months later. And once again, it seemed like they were fine and finally doing great. That was until October of 2021 when Ray J decided to file for divorce again citing irreconcilable differences. This was just about seven months after he had requested for his first divorce filing to be dismissed. Apparently, the reason why Ray J wanted to dump her is because he was mad at her for leaving him at the hospital alone while he battled pneumonia. He angrily went off on Princess during an interview with Hollywood Unlocked, where he said, I've been in here by myself all week. No family members came to see me, not even my wife. I thought it was over. I started praying and knew God is good. So I just kept praying. Despite their marital issues, Ray J filed for the divorce to be dismissed in February of 2023. And just like that, he and Princess got back together again. But as you can already guess, they never stopped having problems. Ray J continued to cheat on Princess over and over again, and he never cared to stop. After their constant back and forth over the years, Princess finally decided to divorce him for good. She released an official statement to her IG page where she said, Dear friends and family, it is with heavy hearts that we share the news of our decision to divorce. After much reflection, discussion, and counseling, we've come to the difficult realization that our paths have diverged, and it's in the best interest of the both of us to part ways. While our relationship as spouses might be coming to an end, we remain committed to co-parenting our children and maintaining a positive and supportive family dynamic. But of course, Ray J was not going to let this go down with no drama, because he recently recently appeared in an interview with Shannon Sharp and spilled the tea about how he and Princess's relationship really came about. He started to sleep with her behind Floyd's back, but claims that Floyd was not taking Princess seriously while they were together because he had other side pieces he was cheating on her with. I know that the situation was, was weird um, when we started to like each other. How was it weird? Well, it was weird because, um, like, I really liked her and she was still kind of like in a situation with pb but at the end of the day who is pb floyd so oh. at the end of the day oh so that was hold on hold on hold up time out they were dating uh i thought i thought like i don't know he hooked you, got, you up like i don't hey, know man, i don't know if, no i hooked him up with miss <laughs> i hooked him up with the two girls that was supposed to be my love interests on For the Love Ray J. The winners. Why, I ain't, you, why I, would you do that? Because he was my friend. He said that's what it was like. It was like, okay, I was young, so I didn't I wasn't tripping. Like if somebody wanna be with somebody, if they said no, I don't wanna do it, then okay. But if they was like, oh yeah, I'm interested, then yeah, line it up, right? Because when we were younger, being honest is the only way you win, right? So 
that we had that 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 okay, honesty. Yeah, you was the homie, I'm the homie, right? So they like you, cool. If if she like me and you in a relationship with your baby mama, you got your main girl, you got your, all this, and then you, you like princess too, but you ain't super locked in, and we want to be locked in, congratulate and, and celebrate with us. So that's kind of how it Just works. like I celebrated with, like, when, when you when you liked somebody and they liked you that I was liking, but they liked you more. So no problem. We all celebrated together. And when Ray J was asked how his relationship with Floyd is now, he said they actually fell out because of this entire situation and haven't had much of a friendship since. He said Mayweather felt betrayed when he found out he was sleeping with Princess behind his back. And I mean, can we blame Mayweather? This was somebody he was engaged to, only to find out that she was sleeping with one of his best friends the whole time. As usual, this mess caused a whole lot of commotion, and people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, I'm with Ray J on this one. Floyd was cool with knocking down Ray J's previous women, but all of a sudden, appalled when Ray J pulled the reverse Uno card. Floyd strike me as the type that ego is super fragile. Another person said, Princess was on the roster. Like Ray said, he actually loved her. Floyd always had plenty of women and treat them bad anyway. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Ray J clowning? Floyd Mayweather after stealing his girl. And do y'all think Princess was right for ditching Floyd Mayweather like that? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.